the Chief Executive of the ICAW, that's the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. We are the oldest national professional body in the world and at the moment we have about 166,000 members and 36,000 students in around 150 countries around the world. Well, first of all, economic crime has been with us for a long time. It's not new. What has happened though in recent years is that many governments have become more acutely aware of it and interested in it. When governments look at economic crime, they often feel that the professions and the accountancy profession among them help facilitate economic crime. What we need to do as a professional body is make sure that all of our members and indeed members of the wider accountancy profession know that if you are a criminal, there is one thing you want to do above all other things. It's to take the proceeds of crime and legitimise it. And the best way of doing that is to work with accountants and solicitors to clean the money. So what we've done is we have been very forthright in telling our members to be vigilant but we've also made a drama film with the tax authorities in the UK that showed just how easy it is to be lured in to the promise of money that has strings attached. And we've been showing this film now around the world, including to the B20 before the G20 recent meeting in Indonesia at the very highest level. And we just can't relax our guard. We've just got to keep reminding people of the threat and that they are always on the front line. Well, the role of the accountancy profession changed during the pandemic because many businesses during the pandemic found themselves literally on the verge of failure. And who did they turn to when these extreme circumstances confronted them? Their accountant. Their accountant helped navigate them through all of those difficulties. That's really continued post the pandemic because there have been a number of other shocks since the pandemic which haven't made trading conditions easy for businesses. We've had the, the invasion of Ukraine with all of the difficulties that's caused both to the energy market and in some cases to the grain market. We've got high inflation now around the world and for many business uh, owners it's the first time they've had uh, a period of such high inflation for many decades and we're also seeing challenges now as China has its own domestic problems causing uh, issues with supply chain. Who do businesses turn to? Their accountants and that's, that's the advice now that accountants are giving post the pandemic. Chartered accountants have to constantly look at their skills and make sure that they actually are competent to be giving the advice that they give. At ICAW, we provide a great deal of support to our members, but from the 1st of January this year, we're actually taking the unprecedented step of making all of our historic materials through our uh, faculties where we provide specialist services available to our members inclusive of their subscription. We think this is a really positive step for us to be taking. Nobody else in the world has ever done anything like this. So that, that's the type of thing that we're doing to ensure that our members remain up to date. I think, um, I think if you're looking at your career, young people today are particularly interested in joining a profession that has a purpose. And in my view, and of course I'm a little bit biased, the accountancy profession is incredibly important. It's important because in areas like audit, audit underpins everything we do in a modern society today. If you aren't able to rely on the numbers, everything falls away. 
that's a real purpose. But the second thing just to highlight is that mankind is faced with its biggest challenge in our history. How do we solve climate change? And climate change is only going to be solved by the best minds applying themselves to the problem. And chartered accountants are problem solvers. So we can play our part in helping find these solutions. So that really appeals to the next generation. They want to be part of this solution. And you might be aware that in the UK, we've got a new king at the moment, King Charles III. King Charles III said, accountants are going to save the world. I like that phrase. When the United Nations put forward their 17 sustainability development goals, we had 15 years to deliver them. In 2020, the last time there was a major review of how governments are performing, the report card said, at best, more effort was needed. We've lost two years during the pandemic. I think now it's extremely challenging to see how some of the SDGs, including poverty, will actually be met by 2030. We shouldn't forget that one of the SDGs, climate change, number 13, is the one that's the focus of most of the activity at the moment. But lots of the other SDGs are very worthy in their own right and should be addressed. So I have to say at the moment, I'm pretty gloomy about the ability of uh, achieving the eradication of poverty by 2030. Well, the accountancy profession has been changing throughout its history, but the forces that are really driving things at the moment are technology. We're going to see more and more technology involved with everything that accountants do. And I think that's a positive thing because what it's going to do is take away repetitive uh, tasks and leave opportunities for accountants to do things that are more interesting. There's going to be a real challenge between now and 2030 for the talent uh, coming into the profession. And when I say a challenge, it's finding enough talent to come in because right now around the world, many, many professions and industries have a shortage of people and it's not easy to see how that's going to be resolved. The third thing I would say is helping in the transition to net zero. This is arguably the biggest challenge facing the planet. It goes hand in hand with climate change and businesses are going to have to find a way to make this transition. They should have started years ago but when, you, when you're faced with issues around the world where, for example, no petrol and diesel cars, no new petrol and diesel cars are going to be sold after 2030. Whole industries have got to change how they operate and their infrastructure has got to be changed. And the accountancy profession has a really key role in helping with those transition plans.